10 things we love and hate about the Defender 90. Now, uh, it's the 90 rather than the 110, so straight away, there's actually only two doors rather than the four doors. Uh, I actually really think this is a much better design um, and goes with the whole aesthetic of the car a lot better than the four door. Um, we've still got the same front design of the 110, uh, same on the back as well, but just having it a little bit shorter just brings it all together a lot better. Another thing that I really love about this car is the addition of the towing lights. So if we open it up the boot here, uh, there's a little button on the left hand side, pop that on and it'll start a light show all around the back front and side of the car, um, basically to warn people that you're, you know, you're towing a load. Uh, it can also be used in a number of other situations, obviously. Uh, if you're broken down at the side of the road, it can be used as a hazard light um, or just to alert anyone of anything going on, basically. Uh, and it's great in low light because there's so many lights going on on the back. Um, it's pretty hard to miss and it's a really useful tool. Now, one thing I do want to talk about, uh, which I don't like about the car, it happens when you unlock the car. So you're in your garage and it's dark. Uh, you unlock the car, the wing mirror has come out, and then you're given this little image here. Now, I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's tacky, uh, a little bit too much. I would think it would have been a lot better if it would have been a Lice Land like Rover logo, or maybe even just Defender written. Um, I think having the car is just a little bit too much and too in your face. Another feature that I really like about this model uh, is the ladder on the side of the car. Now, it does affect the symmetry of the vehicle, but I don't think that's in a bad way at all. Uh, it actually really adds to the aesthetic and the outside look of the car. Um, all it does is fold down here uh, and then you can climb up onto the roof. Now, we don't actually have the keys for this model because it is locked in. Um, so the security is pretty decent. There's no way I'm getting in here. But obviously, this is to stop it from flapping about or, or people interfering with it while you're driving. But of course, if you are a true Defender driver, you would just uh, use the ladder Put your foot on here and climb up the, uh, the old fashioned way. So there is a bad point about this, obviously that we've briefly touched on, and that is about the key. Um, obviously now I need to carry around a second set of keys. In fact, two keys, one for the ladder and one for the box around the other side. It would have been nice if they were all in one central locking system, all under one smart key, much like the petrol pump. Um, and it would save me having to carry around these extra keys just to use some of the features on the car. Seems a bit ridiculous to me, but Hey, there we go. So coming on inside the car now, uh, what, another thing that I really like is the third seat in the middle on this model. Now the old Defenders used to have this and this model also has it. Um, and it's brilliant, it's so high in the middle. It's made of the same uh, lever as the rest of the interior and it actually goes really well with the rest of the interior. Um, it is bigger and bold in the middle, which I, I really like. And it's practical uh, and it's just a lot meaner and it goes really well with the car. So although I do like the middle chair, there is a few things wrong with the back of the middle chair. So obviously you can pull it down and it becomes part of the central column of the car. Uh, and you do have two cup holders, a tiny square grip mat uh, and charge at the back. But I feel like there's so much space here and they've done very little with it. Okay, it goes with the same aesthetic as the rest of the car uh, in that everything's big, bold um, and practical but I really feel that this isn't very practical and a lot more could have been done with it. Like, what, what is this? Like, there's not really a lot you can do with that. Um, and there's very minimal charger points and even the cup holders are nothing too exciting. Um, I think it was opportunity missed by Land Rover. So something else that I really love in the front of the car uh, is the digital rear view mirror. Now you can just flick it on here uh, and then you, the camera uh, shows you exactly what's going on behind you. This is great if you've got things in the back, people in the back, or if you've been off-roading and your rear view windows are all uh, muddied up, the camera is situated a lot higher, so you can easily get a view of what's going on behind you. Uh, there's a few settings on here as well. You can also press this button here and change the brightness, uh, so that can help you in the sunny days, or if it's too dark, you can turn it up. But you can also change in the position of the camera as well, to get it even higher, so you've got uh, a lot of control over what you can see. Again, um, we're on sunny days, you have a lovely viewfinder at the back here, which really reduces the glare off your rear view mirror and helps you see it in all weather conditions. So I've just found another issue uh, with the seat in the middle actually. 
So this is me sitting in it now. And as you can see, I don't really have an awful lot of room. There is a foot guard here. Um, but again, <laughs> if you've got bigger than size nines, you're not really gonna be able to fit your feet in here. But I also feel like I don't really know where to put my legs. If I start spreading them out, I'm gonna be intruding on the passenger and uh, I can't really put my legs this side either when, with the pedals down here. Um, it doesn't recline either. So any access to the gears, I'm gonna have to be constantly <laughs> moving my legs. Uh, I guess it isn't really meant for comfort. Again, it's a very practical car. Um, so this is probably more of a practical seat than designed for comfort. Um, I still like it, but there is obviously now a few more issues highlighted with it, but I still like it. There's nowhere to grab. <laughs> It's a bit hard to get into the back, <laughs> but I like it all the same. Um, yeah, the back's great, to be honest. Um, it was a little bit difficult there, as you just saw, but it's very spacious once you're in here. It's nice, nice and bright. You have these extra windows up here, which I actually really love. Um, you've got handles in the back, which are great to hold on to. Uh, and a massive sunroof, which also comes all the way back as well, which is great. Um, but yeah, it's nice in the back. Charging ports all on the back here as well. Actually, I prefer the seat being upright in the back than if it was down. Uh, you've also got charging ports on the back of the chairs as well here. Um, it's great, very practical, cup holders as well. Um, no complaints, no complaints at all really. So last but not least is just the overall look of this car. I personally think it's amazing. It's modern, but at the same time, it brings through old aspects of the other Defender um, and basically modernizes it. So you've got the tread plates up here. Uh, I wouldn't go standing on it, but it just adds to the car. It looks practical and it looks mean, and that's exactly what you want out of a Defender, really. The details on the front as well is really nice. It almost gives it that little bit of a sporty look as well, um, but it doesn't go overboard with it. But I really love that. Uh, I love that in the 110 as well. The lights on the front, you've got these giant round lights. Um, again, it goes perfectly with the rest of the car. Nothing to complain about there. As we moved round, we've got the overhead exhaust as well, obviously built for if it's starting to get into water. Um, great addition, great addition, looks great as well. The roof rack, it goes well with the ladder that we've already spoke about. Um, and of course, you've got the big spare wheel on the back, which is the Defender staple. It's great that they've brought this through. You've also got two tow bars at the bottom. These are pretty solid things, really strong, really sturdy. Um, again, no complaints about that. Coming around to the other side, you've also got the box to match the ladder on the other side. Um, they each have their own individual key. Uh, again, unfortunately, I wish it was more part of a central locking system, but you know, uh, that may be something to improve on in the future. And we've also got these little trims down here, these little air vents. And I think they really finish off the front of the car. Um, and again, it just adds to the whole aesthetic. Really happy with this car, really pleased with it. I want one. And that's it, really. <laughs> uh, and it looks like it's, it's going to do what. No, 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 no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was getting at there. <laughs>